All right, let's uh, continue getting some updates with regards to the final voter registration drive this weekend. We cross back to our reporter, Busisiwe Jemsana Mantashe, who is at uh, another voting registration centre in Stutterheim. Busi, what's, uh, what do you have for us? Very good uh, morning once again, Blaine. Right behind me, you are supposed to see IEC banners, uh, IEC signages that are saying that registration is underway in this voting district, Sikulile Public School. But you don't see any of that, Blaine, because mm. things are not normal in Starterimua. Coming to you from Lungisi Township, where we are told none of the voting districts were open, none of the voting stations were open this morning. In fact, we were told that one or two of them where IEC officials uh, went to, to try and register people, they were chased away. This is the township lane where the majority of the youth that has been protesting over the problems facing the municipality is based and they are saying they want no IEC, they are not going to register, they are not going to vote until the Department of Cooperative Governance uh, rectifies the issue of the election of the mayor, the chief whip, and the speaker into uh, positions of power in the municipality following allegations of fraud and corruption. And they are saying that they are not going to register and they are not going to allow any IEC official to set foot in this place. Yesterday, Blaine, we spoke to the ANC that said that there are continuing engagements with the communities to try and encourage them and to try and say to them they must register whilst they are trying to fix uh, the problems and their grievances. Uh, they must allow those who want to register to actually come and register into these voting stations but they are not willing to hear none of it. They are saying that they are demanding that the national office bearers come down to start them and actually sits with them, sit with them and discuss a way forward. They are not happy with uh, the council meeting that took place a few days ago that elected leaders of the municipality. We have been seeing a lot of police visibility playing. Uh, we've been seeing hippos, we've been seeing police vans that are roving around trying to uh, bring some stability in Staturum. But I can tell you, Blaine, there's not a protest, a visible protest that you can see where a group of people are gathering to protest but they are just scattered around and saying that they are not going to allow any IEC officials to set foot in Mlungisi Township and in fact they are going to other townships that are going to town uh, to say they do not want any registration taking place. There's a poly high police visibility even in the voting station that is in town that we were coming to you from uh, trying to safeguard the those IEC officials and IEC equipment, but uh, it is not yet clear, Blaine, if after this or in the afternoon we will be seeing these voting stations opened during the course of, of the day. So those numbers that they hope to to actually reach those numbers where they want more young people to register, it looks like they are going to have a tough time here in Starterham as it is the youth that is at the forefront of this uh, no registration taking place in Starterham. Whether or not what will happen uh, after this and whether the NEC deployees of the ANC that are supposed to be here, we were told that Dr. Aaron Mutsualedi will be deployed in uh, the Amatolo region to try and talk to the communities to talk to the young people that are saying no to registration. We'll be keeping you up to date, Blaine, as the day progresses as to what is going to happen and what is happening. We'll also be touching base with the IEC electoral, uh, electoral commissioner mm. to hear how they plan on dealing with the situation here in Staterim. Busi, you mentioned that uh, there has been some engagement uh, with the ANC with regards to some of the issues. What about cocktails, the, the, the department? Uh, have they responded uh, to this in any way? In fact, Blaine, those, that is the main grievance that the youth is saying they are faced with. They are saying that they have tried and numerous times to engage with Cocta, with the Cocta MEC, Utad Figile Kasa, and they want him to respond to their petition. In fact, they are now saying they have lost all faith in him 
in the department in the province and they are demanding that the presidency or the national minister Dr. Zuelim Kize to come down and answer their petition because the provincial department has failed them. They are saying that they did submit a petition to the department but so far nothing has happened. Even Blaine, the business sector we spoke to a few days ago was saying that they are engaged in a number of meetings with the MEC but they have not gotten any response from that department. The last time we checked a few days, about two days ago, the department was supposed to table a forensic report into the affairs of the municipality, but we were told that they will have to be rescheduled as there has been some clashes of meetings with the MEC. So they are saying that though they want the ANC to intervene, but they want the Department of Cooperative Governance to actually respond to their petition, but they are saying they have lost hope in the provincial department and demand that the minister at national level comes down to actually sit with them and to actually discuss the council meeting that uh, elected these leaders because they are questioning its uh, le legitimacy, saying that the election of these office bearers, these public servants, was done in closed doors, and which is something they say it should not happen. It cannot have a situation where public representatives are elected behind closed doors. It is a matter of public interest and the public in a council meeting should be allowed to sit in those meetings. We spoke to Cocta about that and they are saying that they have not received any formal disputes or uh, complaints that the meeting did not follow proper procedures. We will see as the week starts whether or not they will be able to respond to that if that meeting was legitimate. And if it was, what's the way forward considering that the community is not happy with those election of those uh, public representatives saying that they are not what they agreed upon. The names there and the positions are not what they agreed on with the leaders. Well, CC, we're Jim Sana Mantashe, live for us in Statterheim. Thank you very much indeed for your...